brutality is the use of any force exceeding that reasonably necessary to accomplish a lawful police purpose. Although no reliable measure of its incidence exists, let alone one charting change chronologically, its history is undeniably long. This idea of police brutality has very much been on people's minds since 1963, following on the years, decades really, of oppression of Ameri African Americans. Let alone police in the U.S. killed 1,129 people, and so far in 2017, and a quarter of those killed were black, even though they comprised just about 13% of the population. <laughs> there should be a valid reason for them to be pulled over. And then also when it comes to brutality in that arena, I don't think that police have the, um, they, they shouldn't put their hands on it, you know, um, regardless of the situation, you know? So I definitely think the police brutality is I think it, um, I, I think it's, uh, my thought on it, I think it's horrible. I think it's absolutely uh, ridiculous that uh, it's a real thing. Uh, it's not just something you see on TV. It really is a real thing. It is something that's really happening, you know. Uh, and then, yeah, I think as far as how it affects the community, some people don't care at all. But then I think on the flip side, I think uh, it, it, uh, it's tearing some communities apart. Wait, what do you do our history? I mean, based on looking at what happened like 10, 20 years ago and what's been happening now, I, you know, that's why I think that's a good one because you're back. I mean, it's sad to say, but it's obvious. For some of the people that have suffered and became victims of police brutality include Trayvon Martin, Michael Brown, and Eric Garner. trained better. I think it's a, uh, a failure to train them properly and to get them to understand the communities that they're actually supposed to protect. Um, I think if uh, the training program is significantly Sorry, better. There's no activity we chose to hand out lollipops that are different colors to signify equality in each race. We chose different colors uh, for Tootsie Pops because it signifies different ethnicities in the world and that we should all come together to uh, put a stop to police brutality. <laughs> She can say in her voice, in her way, that she love me With her eyes, with her smile, with her belt, with her hands, with her money I am the thesis of her prayers, her nieces and her nephews are just...